people. So we're at the Medoon Police Station going in for a wreckage request. An incident from 222. 2022, I should say. Over a year ago. Mm -hmm. We need some information. It's about a summons that popped up on somebody with no due process. Thank you. Right. Yeah, we can't do anything for this guy until we get the report. And like I said, the other guy is harassing him. Good. Okay, thank you, sir. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. Thanks. Excuse me. Can I make a wreckage request? Um, hold on one, one sec. Yep. Hello. How are you? Good. Oh, your level three sex offenders up there. Wreckage request, okay, right here. I got it. All right, let's pause this for a second. I'll fill this out. All right, we got it filled out. Um, Completed forms folder. So you see, they just happen to be closed today. Yeah, I just made a record request. Okay. Just taping, what's your name? Sergeant Joba. Joba, what's your badge number? S48. Oh, you're a sergeant? Yes, sir. Yeah, all right, maybe I got a couple questions to ask you then. Um, just about how you do, how you do things. Like, like when something happens out on the street. Let's take for instance, like um, a fender bender. And, and the parties involved is it, is it common practice to, to tell the person that's making the report, this person's probably gonna take you to court, and then a year later, with, with nothing nothing done by you guys, the person ain't taking them to court. Methuen police are taking them to court. The city of Methuen. So. I, I don't go case by case with people there because I wasn't there for the exact Specification well, this is what the guy. This is what the guy told them when my, when when the person came down to make the report. Yeah. 
because it was there was nothing happening there. They were they they, they were denying there, the incident I, there. I, I don't comment because there's sides to the stories, and you know what I mean. And by the time it gets back, it's whatever side it is. They're in, usually embellished or whatever it is. So I don't comment on what other people do. You know. What I mean? it, but is it common practice not to not to notify the person that made the complaint that they they're being sued by the other party? Or, or not the other party, but that, but that, that the, the city of Methuen took over the case and you guys... An officer wouldn't know that. And a regular, like as a patrolman or even as a sergeant, I wouldn't know if the city is doing lawsuits. We have attorneys and stuff. That would... Well, I'm, t I'm telling you, you know now, because I'm here telling you. Right, but... So uh, and this, in, in this incident us. that I made, just made the report on, for the records, you know, not the report, for the records request on that incident. I, I, I hope there's some records on it because... There's got to be some kind of paper trail because you guys sent the summons out and, and that's why I'm actually here. I'm not here for me, I'm here for somebody else. Yeah. Because uh, no, no due process was done, nothing like that, and then all of a sudden... Oh, it was a summons? It was a what? summons, so a year later, a year later. So that sounds like that would be the due process if you're going to court, right? No, no, how's the due process? Well, I mean, he... Due process is to... Hold on, system. you don't understand what I'm saying. He, was, he, was, he, he was the plaintiff. So how does a plaintiff turn into the defendant? You know what I mean? Yeah. Without, without, without no, no explanation or nothing. Just like, like it went away, and then a year later it just popped up in his mailbox. Yeah. Through the city of, and, and that's you guys, the police station. Not, not, you know, not the city of McDowan. It's, 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 it's stated the city of McDowan is, is the, the person that's the, got the complaint against them. I'm just trying to find out some answers, you know what I mean? I, I don't see any due process here. Yeah, they, didn't, they, didn't take, they didn't take a report off of him when he, that day he came in, supposedly, and the cop behind the thing's telling him that, oh, you're probably going to get sued by this, this girl. Over what? It was, it was an accident that she was involved in. She hit him, and, and he's going to be charged by you guys? That's due process? That that sounds like that sounds like that sounds like somebody in the police station knew this person, okay? And it sounds like a big scam to me. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know what case you know? you're talking about, so I'd have to. Well, look at there's it. the re there's the request right over there. Go grab it and, 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 and get to work, and you'll find out because it, it starts here. You know what I mean? Because like I said, this guy this guy sat and thought thought it was all over and thought something was being done towards her, and then all of a sudden, a summons shows up in, in his mailbox. A year late, over a year. It was April sixth of last year. Okay, with, with with nothing from you people, except the guy behind the counter, throwing in his two cents to the person that's making the complaint or or, or, or making the report because it was an accident report. Okay, and they were denying it. The other team was denying it. So it's like and now all of a sudden he's he he he's subject to, to to answer to a summons. His life is all screwed up because you guys or somebody that day in question. That was behind here when he showed up here in person to make oh, the to make the yeah. the report. Yeah, I, don't know, I don't know what the case is, but if it's a summit, it sounds like there's some type. Of it's, it's it sounds like it sounds like you know you guys when you guys pull somebody over for something, right? Even though they didn't did nothing wrong, right? And you decide to give them a ticket, no matter what. At the end of the day, they they gotta fight that ticket. Their life screwed up, not yours, right? So, this is this is a big thing on you guys. This is go this is gonna come back on you because I know this person personally. And I know the situation, and I know everything that happened that day, and... So I don't think either one of us would pull somebody over if they hadn't done something wrong. Well... We wouldn't just make something up. I, I, I hear that from every police officer. Okay. You know what I mean? Understand. This is but what I... This is this is what questions about a case we know nothing This about. is what I do. I'm not, no, I'm not asking you questions about the case. I'm asking you how you... How, you, how it came to this, this point. So how, how, does, how, does, how does a victim, a plaintiff, become... A defendant. How does that? How is that? How how so how when I complain? Question, I know when I make a complaint, if I came in and made a complaint against this guy, would I be arrested or would I get a oh. summons to 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 the town of McDowan because I'm making a complaint because against an officer? If I don't know the case, I know the specifics, but the only thing that would a scenario that would come to mind is is that if I get hit and I don't have a driver's license or I have something that I shouldn't have been on the road that has nothing to do with the accident, then there's a summons. You know what I mean? But other than that, I I can't. I don't know about this specific case. You know what I mean? Well, this is this is this is a uh, this is gonna be come. I don't I don't know whether it's a. I haven't read the summons myself and went over the summons, which I'm gonna go after I leave here. I'm gonna go and see the person and I'm gonna read the summons. And I'm gonna see exactly what it says 
And if it says that you guys did the wrong thing, I'm not going to stop there. The guy's already got a lawyer, okay? So so there's, there's, there's money out of his pocket, okay, for something that someone de did to him and then turned it around and said, because they knew somebody in the police station, probably the guy that took took the report that day, okay, because his his... his he got no. He got no say. Just like when I when I come to you, you got no say. What 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 the person or or the, about the situation? When I tell you something that happened, you can't turn around and say, "Well, this is probably going to happen." Well, you know, the, 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 is, you, come I, on, man. You know I what I mean? Jump to conclusions. How, how? I get all the, the facts, right? And well, may, well, you're a sergeant, so you're you're going to have to find out who who was on that day. It's on it's on it's on the request, the records request. Right. You can find out who was working that day, and then you can speak to him personally and, and say and ask him why did you tell the person that was making the report that oh you're probably going to be sued, you know? And say, hey, this guy thinks he was set up. I know he was set up, okay. And I'm gonna I'm gonna get to the bottom of this, okay? There was three three vehicles involved, okay, and they're all they're all together. They set him up, okay, and, and now all of a sudden he's got a summons a year later. I'm just saying, you know, Sarge, you know what I mean? I mean, I, I no ill will against you or the police station. I'm just trying to find out some answers here what, for this what, guy because my is, is because his life's his life's on the upside down right now because of this. You my know what I mean? Is, is get all the facts. And then if it, if well, that's what I'm that's what I'm trying to do right here. But you know, you're making allegations. Without I'm not making allegations. Well, you just did. You said that you think it's a cover up that he did the wrong thing. Yeah, I mean, oh yeah, the guy behind the car. Hey, he absolutely but, did the wrong thing. Them, them not absolutely. Them are facts, my friend. Yeah. Them are facts. Okay. Them are facts. You well, guys are supposed to be professional you, and, 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 and unbiased, okay? So were you here when, when they said that? No. So no, but, but I'm, sure, I'm sure you got it on camera, and I want that, too. Uh, I should make that in my request, too, right? Yeah, well, I, don't, I don't think we have any video or audio that does. Uh, you understand? You know what I mean? So I told this guy, so I told this guy that I'm here inquiring so, about that whenever you come into the cops, run into the cops, film them, because the accountability ain't there without this camera. I have no problem being You know what I mean? I do nothing wrong. It's a scary story. Well, that, that's great. I that's no great. That, them, wrong, if, if, right? if that's true, that rings true, okay? Yeah. Then, have, you're, you're the kind of cops that we need out there, okay? Cameras, that's probably right? why so you're I, a sergeant. You know? You know? So, and if we have someone that we keep our officers accountable, so if it's something that it is, you know, All right. we'll, we'll, you know, whether it's coaching, discipline, whatever it is, we will do what it is because we're not a department. That we want to be known for, like, right? Especially with the crap that's going on yeah. right now in the world, yeah. okay? With the so, with the disconnect between the so, public and everything uh, else like that. Know, and again, I think my 26 years on the job, I think a lot of times is is that I've found that, and have we done wrong things by mistake or done things? Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Have some people How done things on purpose? Absolutely. Right. But the majority of the times. The information you get from your friend is embellished a little bit, and it's kind of because we're human nature, right? Yeah, basic, of, basically, like the calls that so, come in for you, right? When when somebody calls you and says, "Oh, so, they want you there," so they'll, so they'll, they'll stretch the, the truth a little bit to, to get you there quicker. On on a so you know, he might forget to tell you something because usually what happens is I see that a lot. Is they'll tell you his side of the story, which isn't not that it's a lie, right? But it's embellished a little bit so he doesn't look as bad. And who knows, right? Like, and again, you could be right, and it could be your way that you're thinking it is, or it could be his way. And until all the facts are out there and given, I'm sorry, excuse me, then that's the way it goes. You know. Oh, okay, so. Uh, and that's why we have Free Your Information Act, so you can. Get exactly, all that exactly. So. Public information, exactly. Um, what was I going to say? So, how long does how do you guys got seven to ten days on that, right? To be honest with you, are I you guys know. hacked like City of Lowers? No. Okay, good. So I don't know how the FOIA works. I don't deal with FOIAs. You okay. Know what I mean, that's not my my division. Um, so and even looking at it, like I can't look at that stuff. That's again not mine. Most likely, I'm not in patrol. So if it was a patrol officer, I'm not their supervisor, so I couldn't even okay. deal with him. That would be the. Uh, well, yeah, I'll that. find out once I get the request yeah. back that who's yeah. involved, and then yeah. I can go from there and make for you requests and everything else. Pretty good to get in within the timeline. Okay. I mean? Yeah. I, I don't know for sure because, like I said, I don't deal with it. But you know, depending on how inundated, but obviously, like your FOIA request goes up online, and you can see your FOIA request, and I think yeah, what process it's in. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, that, so that, that's see. That's, so see, you learn something every day. Um, I you know. On the because yeah, I know. Um, it's on there, like people, for anyway, if you go to City Hall, it's on the whole foyer. Okay. Stuff. Everyone's foyer, it's up there, what you're asking for and everything like that. So 
we're pretty we try to be transparent about it. All right, awesome. That's why I'm that's why I got right. this. Thank you. All set. I appreciate you. All yep. Right. Good luck. Have a good day. You too. So there you have it. We'll wait for that to come back and then we'll go from there. We'll make more requests and then you know a little more investigative work. You know, he was a good he was he was pretty good guy, you know. He didn't mind the camera. He spoke about transparency. So that's what we want to hear, people. But I'm telling you, I'm going to get down to the bottom of this. I know for a fact that the, um, the incidents involved here that are, uh, you know, somebody's making some false claims here and McDowell police are backing it up. Because that's what the summons is from the McDoom police. <clears throat> so we'll see what happens. I'll keep you updated. Until then, like, subscribe, and share. Peace out, people.